Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So the Chinese stock market is down currently around about 3%. It was down uh, almost 4% at one point uh, as we're heading in towards the uh, the close of that session. With uh, unsurprisingly the Hong Kong markets down about 1.5%, China 50 down. Uh, most actual global markets are, uh, are are slightly drifting lower this morning as well. European markets on the back foot. The US not massively impacted as and you can see we just had a slight kind of dodgy formation there yesterday. Uh, we've, it's been a lot of volatility kind of overnight in the, in, in the US market but nothing that aggressive but 17.561 is potential resistance which also coincides with that 21 period SMA and the other technicals are relatively neutral. We had some uh, home builder data out yesterday. Um, was expected at one, uh, one spot uh, 19 came in at one spot 20. Uh, million new homes, um, which is still pretty bullish. Not the most important bits of data that came out, but still more positive uh, US data there. So looking at then the UK 100, you can see it's, it's firmly broken out of the symmetrical triangle formation. Next potential support is a 64.15. And again, a lot of that is due to oil, gas, mining stocks that make up the UK 100. Uh, and uh, copper prices, uh, highly depressed, silver down. Um, at the time of looking at this, you can see that gold's actually spiking up and uh, West Texas crude is just off the lows, but it's still uh, running about 4240, so um, still quite a, a decent break there. So 6415 is the next potential support. Uh, we had a negative cross on the MACD uh, just maybe about five sessions ago, and um, you, we're beginning to see the other technical indicators trend down as well. So looking at Japan 225, uh, quite a down day uh, for Japan, uh, following on obviously from the sell-off in China. Um, Japan's down over a, a percent at the moment, so in, in relative terms versus the Chinese stock market, it's not down that much. Um, but a firm, we had a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, a follow through today, um, and obviously we've still got a while to go before the end of the uh, UK US session. So 20,087 uh, as potential support. That's been a range that's been in place and it's probably around about May, apart from the, sort of the massive sell off that we had there on the 8th of July. Um, and obviously the fundamental pressures will certainly remain. So looking at dollar yen uh, flattening out around about 124.42. This is doing exactly the same as what cable was doing, um, staying above those moving averages. So the moving averages and that potential uh, resistance level are flattening out, and eventually we'll get a break on one side or the other. Moving on then to West Texas crude, uh, we mentioned it had a, a modest bounce. Uh, you can just see the tips of these candles could be a tweezer bottom, but to be honest, the fundamentals aren't going to change anytime soon. Um, so the, pre the, the pressure still is on here, but it does look to be $42 is, uh, is going to be a significant potential support level uh, and it's not closed properly uh, with any significance but or any uh, kind of momentum behind it to be able to rechallenge that potential $35 level that was reached at the height of the credit crunch. So moving on to gold, as we mentioned before, it's kind of spiking higher this morning. It's been volatile the last three days. Um, doesn't know which direction it really wants to go, but it's pushing on a little bit higher as uh, I guess the prospects of a rate hike in September become slightly um, less pronounced. Though we do have the FOMC minutes tonight, uh, which will probably be more keenly analyzed than ever for clues as to what the Fed is likely to do. Um, but in the backdrop of everything else that's happening just now, the number of world economies that are struggling, the macro data that's coming out, and um, this is the various and then the stock market moves in a lot of emerging markets as well. Um, it could cause a lot, of, a lot of issues for uh, many other economies. Maybe not that the U.S. is really too, too bothered about that, but um, if they raise rates in September, uh, that's going to just exacerbate capital outflows of a lot of these other countries. Uh, and as all the money begins to pile back into the U.S. dollar and uh, U.S. equities, which maybe actually now I think about it for America is maybe all part of the plan, but so many of their uh, giant big companies do business right across the globe, so. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But the next potential resistance, 1137 on gold. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So um, Euro dollar trying to do some sort of uh, bounce after having this is three black crows, these three descending uh, candle formations bouncing off that 21 period SMA. We're off the session highs already. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if. Um, one spot 11 remains quite a strong resistance level, especially because that also coincides with their 55 period SMA. So finishing up with cable, um, some real good RPI, CPI uh, data coming out yesterday. So almost all of them beating expectations. That's brought up to the forefront about UK uh, interest rates uh, again. Uh, and uh, But we, we were finished well off the session highs on cable as well. We we're modest a tiny little bit higher this morning. One spot, 57.43, remains the next potential resistance level. 
this actually was just a sample from a long time ago so um, I might actually have to go back and redraw some of this uh, chart that we have here because as you can see if I switch that onto a weekly chart uh, that's where I would have gotten a lot of the key levels so that would have been that would have been a high point from just right about here in the weekly chart so actually just maybe that little bit higher uh, but that maybe gives you an idea as to where cable is right now um, so <clears throat> economic data wise uh, today we do have um, US CPI, that's going to be a big bit of data today so make sure you don't get a chance to miss that. Make sure you've got your reoccurring alerts set on there as well uh, and you've got the crude oil inventories and remember tonight there is FOMC uh, data due later on. Okay, uh, Keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.